Tanghali na, late ka na naman. Alam mo bang dati naahon pa kami ng bundok? Nangalakit pa kami ng puno ng yog para lang magkabaon. Tapos ikaw, kalapit-kapit na nga ng bahay natin, hindi mo pa magawang gumising ng maaga. If you heard phrases similar on the text above from your parents or relative, you are one of our kind a millennial. Commonly, the past and the present are being compared on most of the things, especially when it comes to our environment. So what do you think the difference between the two? Let's find out. Sa tingin niyo po, ano ang pinagkaiba ng kapaligiran o ng kalikasan po natin noon o ngayon? Para sa akin, pagkakaiba ng kalikasan po sa, ka, sa ngayon. Noong unang panahon, kasi sariwa pa ang hangin, uh, maraming mga puno, hindi pa masyadong mainit ang kapaligiran, kapaligiran kumpara ngayon. Kasi ngayon, uh, sira ng ating mga uh, kalikasan, naging kinuminahan na ang mga agnatid na bundukan, ginagawa ng In the past decades, a lot of stuffs have changed on the hands of human. We just don't mind it. Sometimes we thought it was nothing, but actually it affects our environment dreadfully, creating a way to destroy our sanctuary. Emissions from cars increase the levels of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. There are estimated 7.5 billion people on Earth. A typical passenger vehicle emits about 4.7 metric tons of carbon dioxide. It varies based on the vehicle's fuel, fuel economy, and the number of miles driven per year. With 15,000 pesos, you can buy a second-hand motorcycle. Now, imagine, you will often ride a vehicle to go to the places that is actually a walking distance. And other people will also do the same. What do you think will happen? Greenhouse gases is good. It keeps some of the sun's heat in the atmosphere and help warm the earth. But too much is deadly. Burning fossil fuels such as gasoline causes greenhouse gas level to spike.
Pagkain pala guys, mga... Ang nabukuntod kong puno. Mga... Tatlo. So, ang natatend itong mga halaman, siguro marami, marami rin na rin. Siguro, hindi, hindi mabilang. Para, siguro, hindi nga, para makatuloy na rin sa sa malinis na hangin. In order to grow, they also absorb sulfur and nitrogen, maintaining the balance in atmosphere. In addition, trees and forests play a key role of producing 75% of the world's freshwater supply. Trees reduce landslide and soil erosion by gripping the soil. On the other hand, humans are cutting trees for industrial purposes, causing deforestation leading to global warming. The increased average temperature of the Earth becomes hotter and hotter. Here comes the climate change, rising temperature and seas, massive droughts, changing landscapes. Yes, we are not aware. Human activities terminating the equilibrium in our ecosystem. Biogeochemical cycle has a perfect balance, but we're ruining it. Nature is the source of life. Our Mother Earth who gives us food, water, and shelter, and we're killing her with our bare hands. That feeling of losing our natural resources, our mother, is hard to envision. We are really clueless because we can't forecast the future, yet instead of predicting the worst case scenario, let's feel it. Let's feel the presence of it. Not the feeling without her, but the feeling with her. <laughs> 